Nine months and nearly 8 million doses of vaccine later, Maryland ranks seventh out of 51 for people fully vaccinated. But health officials say the work isn't over. State Health Secretary Dennis Schrader says the vaccination rates are getting better at most nursing homes. There are still a few dozen nursing facilities uh, that are not complying with the safety measures we put in place. It is un unacceptable that a few outliers are seemingly willfully not doing what the majority of nursing home facilities in the state are doing. Another big area of concern, kids. Those up to age 19 have seen the highest increase in cases recently. Schrader says they hope to work with schools to vaccinate eligible kids age 12 to 17 and was asked repeatedly about mandating COVID vaccination for public school kids. It sounds like the Maryland Department of Health and under the authority that you have, you're not looking that not looking to use that as a tool to increase the vaccination rates of teens in our schools. Is that correct? Uh, not at the moment, but you raise an interesting question. Schrader also shied away from saying Maryland would follow other states in requiring proof of vaccination to do things like eat at a restaurant or see shows. We'll definitely take that on board. We've been uh, reluctant to force people into doing these things. We've had a lot of success so far, encouraging, cajoling, educating. He says they have two focuses, getting the newly approved Pfizer booster shots to those who need them and getting those who are unvaccinated to get the shot. One part of that is using social media to combat misinformation. We are pushing out information to the general public and then every other week, and we started last Thursday, we're bringing a medical expert in and doing a live Twitter feed uh, to uh, to communicate uh, to the public about information and disinformation. Secretary Schrader says they are still asking federal health officials to expedite approval on a vaccine for kids aged 5 to 11. And he says they are already working on the distribution details for that, so they are ready when that does get approval. Reporting live at the State Health Department, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.